Good morning, everybody. I got a request to do this earlier in the day. Um, one of the guys, one of the boys from Shul, my friend Brooklyn, could send this earlier in the day. So it's not even 10 o'clock yet. I just finished the Dafyomi. Didn't even finish my cup of coffee yet. Um, here we are. So good morning, everybody. Very interesting parish this week. Starts off, everyone has a question as far as Shmi Hashem, Ladatu Ahem, Shakai, Yud Kevav K, what the difference between the Avos and Moshe, what's the time against Moshe? So the Brit Sada quotes Rabunim, and I wasn't sure what Rabunim was. I looked it up. Rabunim, Rebbe Rabunim is the Rebbe Piyasasna. Peshischa, excuse me, a Peshischa, Rabunim of Peshischa who uh, lived in, who dies in the early 1800s. So Kishtikl overlapped, was the generation before the Pritzadik of Tzadik Akam of Lublin. So I'm pretty sure that refers to Rav Bunim. So he quotes Rav Bunim that, quotes the Gemara of Chagiga, that the world kept going and going until man was created. Holech v'holech, Markiv v'holech, the world was expanding, expanding, Till Hashem said, die, enough. So what what is what does that mean? What was happening? So Rabunim says that the purpose of the world, that Hashem stopped the world, to understand that at this point, a person should recognize Hashem. The purpose of a person in the world, the world, is to recognize Hashem, recognize the Creator. And until until that point, Hashem expanded the world, expanded the world, until the point where every person in the world can understand at this point that is Hashem in the world. And Hashem's finished expanding the universe, kaviyach, or whatever that, whatever that means, <laughs> to be honest. Spiritually, literally, figuratively. We know that each person could really um, understand things without even knowing the Torah. Uh, you see laziness from the ant, and so it's working around. The chatul steals things that shouldn't do, things you should do, sneers from the Yonah. So there's things that are understood by Seicho. And this is something that is different with the Avos and Moshe. The Avos did not get the Torah. The Avos understood things from their own understanding. And they looked around the world. They saw the way the world's functioning, the way the world works. And they understood lessons and the Torah from Hashem. They understood Hashem. As opposed to Moshe. Moshe didn't have this aspect. Moshe spoke to Hashem, I won't say from day one, but Moshe spoke to Hashem. And it's something that was a lot different. The Avos recognized Hashem without the Torah, and Moshe understood Hashem with the Torah. And this is what the Pritzadik says, that the Gemara says, Chaval, Chaval al Avdin. Unfortunately, Chaval, we miss the people that are dead, miss the Avos, because the Avos never got the Torah, and they never questioned Hashem. And Mo, Abram had a good reason to question Hashem. You have a lot of children, you'll have Eretz Yisrael, next month, minute, kill your child. Didn't say a word. And they didn't have the Torah. Moshe, who spoke to Hashem, who had a clear understanding of Hashem, he unfortunately, or he complains and asks what Hashem's name is, and this is the corner priest song. This is the dialogue that goes back and forth with Hashem and Moshe. That the Avos from a higher level of this full Amuna that they had that Moshe did not have, even though he had the Torah. Uh, the, and the priest kind of talks about different places and talks about this is really the theme of Shovim. We mentioned the other week is that these these weeks, six weeks that go into um, from Shemos all the way into getting the Torah and beyond is this uh, level of correcting and fixing things. Uh, the Pritzadik mentions this in Kabbalah where there's this power of Tuma, a power of Tuma, and Keneged rises the Kedusha. He mentions this by Hanukkah, for example, that there was a rise in Greek philosophy and that caused the rise of Tarshabal Peh. And this is kind of the theme, really, that he talks about with the different makos that is this this counter, this balance, that leaving the klipa of Mitzrayim will lead to something greater of Kedusha. And he says a few pieces. One is the Shechin. The Shechin, there's a nace that the Shechin goes all the way up to Shemayim, and the Gemara says, Ad kisei hakavod, 
Kisa Kabod. The point is this Hamimos, this Taiva that a person has for bad things, and this Yaveras can be piled up all the way to Shemayim. We try to turn that into this Hamimos, this Taiva of Torah, Chedvoso do Raisa. Chedvoso, this Cheshek, this love of Torah, which uh, from Los Achmo, of wanting, of coveting, is this coveting of Averos, should be turned into this coveting and the wanting of Torah, which is something the Pritzadik, I think, quotes, maybe I looked up on Safaria, like 60-something times, that that's kind of what these weeks are for, is to take bad traits and try to turn them into good traits. The Pritzadik talks about the fish. The fish died. He quotes the Echeskel, where Pritze Dugim, that the animals had this pritza, not just the people, but the whole tumma went it went all the way to the animals and into the fish. And we turn this into this love, this taiva, we want to turn that into a love of of Torah. Just like fish, the Gemara says, the fish have water. It's like it's the first time we get the sweetness of water. So too, we should have a sweetness every time we learn. You learn a new chiddush, you learn a new Torah, it should be sweet like you never had this before. And these are kind of the, the thoughts and this, the themes. Cher Pius B'yadam, Laska Magayim, the six weeks. So, Shemos, Cher Pius B'yadam, Chereb, the Fis B'yadam. Just like we have this Chereb, we have Torah, which is in our hands. We have the Torah that can be, that can make sweet, the Tefillah makes sweet, and the Cher Pius these makas that Mitzrayim has, the makas that we have get, unfortunately, is for a greater purpose. Mitzrayim got this maka for destruction. We get this maka that should make us turn to good things. And last of the Kamagayim, just like the makos, the cherub, the Torah that we have, biyadam, we could turn this nekama bagayim, this nekama that the gayim get, we can actually take it to a higher purpose and take good things out of it. And that's what we should take for Shabbos. Shabbos, we kind of look back at the week, what good happened, what bad happened, how we can improve it, how we can make these lessons come to sweet. And even though it's not uh, a Jewish theme, <laughs> New Year's, but tonight is New Year's. And again, we don't really do a lot of parties, although I'll probably have a drink tonight, like like a lot of nights. Um, but the time, you know, any day, every day is a good day to think about tshuva. Every day, the Gemara says, every day you think about tshuva. You're not gonna know when you're gonna die, so each day you learn Torah, each day you think about tshuva, to think about how you can improve yourself. So again, not that uh, spend the whole year thinking about New Year's, but every day is a good day. And, and Punkta comes out that Friday night Shabbos is, is the Galatia New Year's, and Shabbos is a good time to kind of clear the calendars, you clear our minds from the work, and try to improve and think about what we could do great for the next day for Shabbos, and also for the next coming year, what great things we could do, all the things that we didn't do well this year. Um, Ruvain Shimon, this week's parsha, it counts the things that we see, the things that we hear. That should kind of um, be our guides for this coming up year. Shabbat shalom, shabbat Bye.